Hey everybody, this is Survivor Sax, and I want to do a quick talk. Um, my wife kind of mentioned this, but uh, I think that she was right, and it's important. A quick talk on some of the things, if you've never been in the hospital, or um, you're getting ready to go for a hospital stay. Some things that helped us that will help, hopefully, you remember what exactly um, you need. So, one of the main things that people always forget are chargers for all of your devices. When you're in hospital, it's a little bit different than being able to just run home or ask somebody for another charger. Make sure you take chargers for everything you need. Um, I have found the hard way that if you don't have them, it can make for a long night because a lot of the hospitals these days have TV and programming um, that just is on a loop. It's almost like um, just having a flat CCTV feed. So... I would say definitely make sure your electronics do not run uh, low or out of batteries. I know many times in the middle of the night um, I couldn't sleep, whether it was the high doses of steroids or whatever. I didn't feel good uh, if I didn't have um, something to watch to try to take my mind off things and help me fall asleep. It made it tough. Uh, and to go along with those chargers, make sure you have the electronics that go with the chargers. Boy, I, I've seen and talked to people, and I've done it myself, where you've made sure you had chargers, but you totally forgot um, to take your phone or your iPad or whatever it might be. So um, what I always do is put all of those, I have a little, um, what do they call them, drawstring bags, and that's where I keep my electronics and all my cords. Um, I've got stuff for my eyeglasses, uh, anything that's a quick run and go. I also take that for short hospital visits whether it's just a doctor's appointment or what have you um we've all been to uh, uh, those of you that have been to the doctors or go all the time like i do we've all been there we've gone there and it ended up taking a heck of a lot longer than maybe it should have and so make sure you're prepared for that or a emergency room visit right same exact scenario so i have a go bag basically for that for just electronics hey if i have those even if i don't have under i'll figure it out right <laughs> okay the next thing uh that people always talk about is uh wanting to make it feel at home i know that was big for me so have a pillow uh special blanket whatever helps you um feel more at home while you're there especially on a longer stay also everybody that's been in the hospital you know those blankets Man, they're thin. There's just not a lot. I used to have like four or five of them. And especially if you're going through chemo or something like that, well, uh, you get cold and you're cold all the time. So take something that not only makes you feel more at home, but also is going to keep you warm in that aspect. And then the pillows they have, if you don't have a good pillowcase on them, a lot of them are plastic. It makes your head sweat. Man, I'm having nightmares just thinking about all this stuff right now. Um... Let's, the next one here I wrote down uh, is make sure you have more undies and socks than you thought you needed um, because you never know. And just make sure none of us like to be caught without those. So make sure you have uh, fresh undies and socks. Uh, let's see. Uh, something to keep your head warm was one that I wrote down. My head, and now clearly after the last transplant, my hair didn't come back. Maybe it would have ended up that way anyway. But I blame it on uh, all the chemo throughout the years. So my head gets cold. Even even to this day now, I have stocking hats throughout the house, uh, scullies, and I wear them. So I always make sure I, I had a hoodie or something extra to keep uh, my head warm. That's for me personally, and, and hopefully it helps you out there. What else do we have? Better coffee. Man, I don't know about where you guys stay, but the coffee, that's just not good. Matter of fact, my wife was even bringing in um, the Keurig or whatever, something I could make coffee on. The The nurses, God bless them, used to, if I'd bring in pods, they'd make me a cup. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a coffee snob. But, hey, when you're in there, you don't feel good. You want good food and good coffee, right? Uh, snacks that you like. When you're on the floor, you're in, in hospital. In most cases, they have very limited snacks. Back in the day when I first got diagnosed, they had really good snacks. They had ice creams, chips, sandwiches, you name it. And in the middle of the night, if you weren't feeling good or you wanted something to eat, they'd bring you something. Now, uh, you're lucky if they've got anything uh, at the places I go anyway. 
So come prepare with some different snacks uh, in case you get hungry at night. Or even sometimes you take medicines and you need something to eat with that. A lotion, a good lotion. Um, your The air seems drier sometimes and you just get really dry. The lotion will help you um, not get so chafed and chapped. And if you went through a transplant, you need to lotion up a lot also anyway. I forget the name of it, but you definitely could get some skin problems. Uh, floss, apparently a lot of people ask about floss. I saw that. Um, so make sure you've got got some floss, floss sticks, whatever works for you there. Uh, and then something that <laughs> you don't think about much, something to prop up your phone, or your tablet, or your computer. Because a lot of times you're laying in the bed and it's falling all over the place. You try to put it up on a table uh, where everything else is. There's no room for it. Um, anything to make yourself more comfortable. You can fold pillows. Nowadays you can get these cheap tablet pillows or whatever. Uh, or you can get good um, covers for your your tablets that'll help prop that up. Uh, I, um, laptops are okay because they're adjustable, so that really helps. Um, and then for like I said, if you that's for in house. If you're going to um, uh, the emergency room or just a doctor's visit, you know, like I said before. Have a, have a go bag. I always have one ready. All I got to do is shove my iPad in there. I've already got chargers and everything else uh, ready to go for that. And, oh, and ear pods. Did I say that? Earphones, ear pods. Uh, those are asked for a lot that people talk about and ask me about. So that's a little bit of the laundry list that, that I use for the basics. If it's a really long stay, I'm not going to lie. I've said it before. My poor wife... <laughs> She brought me dual monitors and stuff like this because that's how I kind of coped with being in there and being diagnosed with cancer and everything. I kept working, but um, I guess the other hospital I've been in, there's no desk. The first one, there's desk area, and I couldn't do that in any of the other ones. Oh, and slippers. I don't know if I said slippers. Slippers, Crocs, something. Those socks they give you in hospital with the little beads on the bottom keep you from slipping. They twist, they turn. They're not warm, um, and God knows what we pay for them on our bills. So grab grab something to keep your feet warm and that you're comfortable with. Okay, well, this is Survivor Sacks. I hope this helps people. Some different things to maybe bring with you when you go for an extended stay, a short period, or maybe even uh, an emergency room visit, which that's always the toughest one because you go in thinking you're in and out, and you're there all night long, and it can get brutal. So... Take care. I want everybody to stay positive. I appreciate you watching the channel. If what I'm doing and saying uh, is something, please subscribe uh, to the channel, like the video. And I do appreciate everybody that is watching and listening. And I hope this is helping you out there. Um, please make sure that you're positive, you smile, and you put a smile on somebody else's face today. Have a great one. Thank you. Take care.